Thank you so much, Annie. And, and, uh, and you're right, I couldn't have hopped in at a better time. Uh, Rob, I just felt like you were just giving me your lobbying agenda right there in that last slide. So it's really perfect. And I'm also so happy to see Lisa Shell, also known on the Hill as Max's mom. And um, I will say, um, if you ever have any doubt about how effective lobbying can be, all you need to do is meet Max, because I think Max was personally responsible for uh, some, for evening out some very rough spots in the road that we had when we did 21st Century Cure. So please, uh, Lisa, give Max our, my, our love, me and Fred, because he really is a force of nature. And, and I know you already heard from Fred, who was smart enough to record his remarks so he didn't have to go running down to the floor to vote at the exact same time that he was supposed to be delivering his remarks like I did. And I, I can always learn, we can always learn from each other. And so I appreciate you shoe, shoehorning me in. So I'm sure Fred told you some of the some of the goals that we have in Cures 2.0. Uh, we were so proud of 21st Century Cures. We were proud of the way it expedited and simplified the way we do biomedical research at the NIH and the way, way we do drug and device approval at the FDA. But as everybody on this Zoom meeting knows, there's still so much more that we can do to improve our situation and to improve access even more. And so about a year ago, Fred and I started talking about, about doing two, Cures 2.0. And we, have, we were slowed down, ironically, we were a little slowed down by the pandemic, but we have been, we've now taken over 500 comments. I know many from individuals and, and organizations that are on this meeting right here. And, um, and our staffs right now, we put out a concept paper. And the, the concept is really to try to hone cures in even more so that we can uh, have much more patient centric systems. And that involves everything from improving CMS's review of uh, drug and device uh, um, uh, financing approval, because that really impacts availability to making sure that, um, that electronic medical records and that data aggregation can work towards research, but that also patient pr privacy is protected. So, so all of these issues that you're talking about in your slides are, um, I know they're on our list of things we're looking at. And our staffs right now are, um, Fred's and my staffs are working on putting together legislation. I hope that, um, I hope Fred and I are in agreement. I don't know what he said to you, but usually we agree on everything um, other than if, if the Broncos are, are playing and then, you know, and then not so much, but, but, uh, but we are going to try to have a discussion draft of a bill out early next year with the hope of passing the legislation next year. And um, we think that with this new Congress coming in and the new White House, don't forget um, the bill passed the House overwhelmingly and the Senate overwhelmingly. And then it was the last bill that President Obama signed and included within that bill was Joe Biden's cancer moonshot initiative. And so he had a real vested interest in Cures 2.0, I mean, cure, the first Cures bill. And in fact, as vice president, he presided over the Senate vote. And so I know that the new incoming administration will work very closely with us. And frankly, the current administration has worked quite well with us to implement the rules around cures. And so we are hoping that we can um, pass really robust and important legislation next year. I'll just say one more thing uh, to all of you, and that's thank you in, for your, what you've done in the past to help this effort. And thank you in advance for what you will do because your wisdom and your lobbying and your explaining is so important towards passing it, this key healthcare legislation. And Fred and I are committed to keeping this band together. Uh, we don't wanna be like the Rolling Stones all in our 80s, putting the band back together again. But if we have to for patient rights and if we're still around in Congress, we will. So thank you again for having me and, um, and good luck with the rest of your meeting.